Major Jackson Proge Captain. And for the uh, uh, support, you can go Dense Smoke, which says Smoke Grenades have increased area effect and further increased the unit's defense by 20. Or Combat Drugs. Smoke Grenades now contain a pow powerful stimulants that grant plus 20 will and plus 10 critical chance for all units in the cloud. I think that uh, this is more situational. This one is just a general upgrade to your, to your smoke. Which I guess makes the, this perk better, but I still think that having more medkits usages <clears throat> is the best. So we have dense smoke. There we got some wounded soldiers. I'm surprised that she's been wounded for eight days, even though she was only she only got hit once. Uh, she was strangled by one of those things. Maybe she had a broken limb or something. Oh well. Do the mutant autop autopsy now. I thought that will have some nice uh, genetic enhancements. All right, so we got increase in North American African panic. We got some scientists. We will be in touch, Commander. Um, okay, South Africa is a problem area. We need to do something about that. We don't have satellite yet. It's eighty per month. Hmm. I don't know about that. I was really hoping to launch in like the UK or something because it's 100 per month or Russia would be 150 per month. But you have to kind of balance uh, money and uh, panic levels. So like I said before, launching a satellite in a country will give you an immediately, immediate like two points taken off the panic levels. Oh, excuse me. Alright, uh, let's go to the, not the, here, the barracks. And hire two more soldiers to replace the ones that we lost. Also, let's give a medal out. German combat badge. Award to our. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Award to Emmy. Even though she's just a squaddy, she did really well in that last mission. I think she earned it. I hope to see it. <coughs> I see great things come from you. All right, let's scan a bit more. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy. Right, let's go ahead and launch a satellite. Uh, when's the next council report? Twenty-one days. So we got time. So I think I will launch satellite to placate South Africa. Is placate the right word? I don't know. To <coughs> calm them down, I guess. The Nigeria be worth more. I don't know. So we put lots of satellites in Canada and Mexico we'll have the North American bonus of uh, air and space, as well as getting going to uh, two, science, two scientists and two engineers per month versus uh, just one engineer per month. So all in is a good bonus too, actually. The latest contact turned out to be a dud. Probably just another drunk pilot who fell asleep on a long haul. really tempting. Also, actually, no, I don't have any, set, any interceptor coverage in uh, South Africa now. So we have to take care of that too, huh? Alright, for now I'm just going to launch in Canada since they have a slightly high panic level and they'll give me a lot per month. Satellite launch. Things are heating up out there. We're tracking multiple unidentified targets. Let's go ahead and order an interceptor for South America. Actually, no, I'm gonna. Do I want to do that? Hmm. That's tricky. We're almost done researching Illyrium, and then I want to research the new fighter craft if I can. But I also need to research them. There's so many things I want to do. Anyway, let's get <laughs> Illyrium finished up. Let's have new research. Now, manufacturing Illyrium is not possible. You only use what you find. We can get the improved arc thrower and uh, jelly Illyrium in the foundry. What's that? Fifth new. Using a in, in tactical situations is quite risky, and the absence of a full-size craft regulator and fuel management systems adding, <coughs> adding to our flamethrowers would be too dangerous. With some additional investment, though, we could find a formula to increase flamethrower effectiveness without risking our, our soldiers. So upgrade to the flamethrower, I guess? That's okay, yeah. That's alright, but, uh... Alright, these things we definitely want to do soon, but I think the new fighter craft... Uh, it's going to take 11 days, so I think that's really important right now, because the... I go for heavy lasers, which would uh, allow me to outfit my ships with better stuff. Let me think. Mm, I 
I need to build one though. We need a in a flight computer. And tighten it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. All right, I have that. Autopsies doesn't take very long. I think, it, I think <coughs> these are really important. For, they both move the story forward and uh, they both unlock really cool stuff. Oh, I think we're doing good with the, moving the story forward. We're going to take a break from that and uh, new fighter craft would be really useful. This will take three days. Let's get precision lasers. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits uh, to facilities. work in the lab. Uh, we can't quite afford that now. I can always build a power generator right here. It's a temporary measure. It's only cost 60. We'll get the adjacency bonus. And there's steam right there, so yeah, we're gonna do let's build a regular power generator for now. And maybe just an excavation, I don't know about that. So we're gonna scan a bit more. Hopefully finish precision lasers. Alright, we unlock the scatter laser and laser sniper rifle. Sweet. And let's do heavy lasers as well. I think that'd be good for uh, ships, and also let me. Hmm. I think it'll let me outfit my uh, mechs with laser weapons too. That'd be really good. Uh, let's see. How much it cost for a uh, scare laser? Like a shotgun, laser sniper rifle is obviously a sniper rifle. Let's see, I have a lot of alloys. Right, let's go ahead and manufacture one of these and one scatter laser. Good. How about some uh, pl uh, plating? Look at one of those. Oh, that's expensive though. I don't know about that. Let's build another one of a couple of these. We're at the point where we need, we really need more armor. Okay, let's leave it at that for now. Keep uh, upgrading stuff. Satellite. Commander, the council is requesting a direct link on the secure channel. Okay. What have we got? According to Dr. Chen's report, report the transponder device provided by Zhang is tied to the. Oh, that's what we've read, huh? It's tied into the navigation system of an alien battleship approaching our atmosphere. That doctor believes deploying a series of modified transponders could provide you with means of diverting the battleship before it reaches its target. It's only two engineers, but, uh. It's good to do these whenever you can. Um, I'm gonna say not now, real quick, and uh, do it in just a minute once we finish the uh, heavy lasers project. I think. Not really. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. How are the panic levels doing? No. The situation room. Alright, so Africa. Uh, Asia's doing fine. Africa is a bit of a problem area right now. North America's doing okay. Europe's doing fine. South America. But then do we need to... Mm. I'm going to launch out here eventually anyway to get the uh, air and space bonus. Even if it's not worth as much. Uh, so I think I will go for Argentina just for the money. Yeah, let's... 
I don't know if the scientists or the engineers right now. And I think it's uh, okay for now, so I'll go to Argentina for the money. Right, let's uh, pick our troops. There's some people who <coughs> recovered from the uh, from being injured. Some are still recovering. Do I have any other snipers? No, she's not my only sniper right now. I should bring in a couple of uh, rookies then, hope I can get more snipers. Let's bring in... Let's bring a death back in, let him try out his new uh, implants. Which looks the best. Kind of simple uh, <coughs> shoulder and elbow, just simple, simple uh, pads. That's pretty good too, though. Yeah, what is that? That's good to me. All right. Athos is our <coughs> support. Uh, I want to make items available. Uh, who else? I guess we'll bring in uh, bring in York. You don't like his uh, the way that I built him. Wait, put you over here. And uh, give you your mech suit. The mech allows us to deploy a large spray of restorative nanobots of the same type we use in the medikit. However, its imprecision precludes it from stabilizing critically wounded soldiers. All right. Uh, both of our assaults are wounded. Let's bring a couple of uh, recruits for other two slots. Just a couple of random ones. Like that. Load out. I'll let you take our laser sniper rifle for a test run. And the scope. Give you guys both uh, arc throwers. I guess I can give one of you guys a laser rifle. You really don't need it. So I think I can bring. Can you everybody carapace armor? I think I have enough now. I can give four of them carapace armor. Let's give you the carapace armor since you're gonna be a bit more aggressive than most snipers. Might as well give it to you. And, uh. Let's bring extra med kit, why not? I've got the armor, so might as well outfit our uh, rookies in them so they, uh. <coughs> they have a better chance of surviving their first mission. Alright, let's do it.